then the great fire broke out. So as I walk in here, I remember 50 years ago. Right. I was walking in there on the 25th of May. James Xia was a child at the time of the fire. That was when the fire started. Must be a lot of memories. Together with his friends from a casual social group called Friends of Yesteryear, they take a trip back to the Great Sea. This is where you, you were saying, this is where the fire started further inside. Inside and further in. Okay. So Behind by the this... time we arrived, we quickly came out and the fire already spread. I see. Behind block 44A. Yeah, correct. Today is a multi-story car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is the one about the wet market, mm. just beside the view present. And right. uh, it's the wet market, which is the meeting place for the Bukit Ho Swi Kampong people that come here. So the, uh, the wet market is like a shop house and uh, many stores selling fish, you know, uh, meats, uh, vegetables and so on. This coffee shop now you see here, something like that. There was no coffee shop at that time? No, no, no. It's just It's for the wet market, correct. So stores, and then the role of shops were all in, under this MCA building. Ah. During the fire, this block was not uh, burnt. The fire jump-started public housing on a big scale. Families of the fire were housed in emergency flats. Though they no longer exist, the lifestyle of those early public housing days remain. The one whole rule uh, of about uh, 11 blocks uh, are the emergency one-room flat that were built uh, in nine months after the fire. How many people can stay in one of those one-room flats? They can house the entire family. The toilet uh, and the bathroom are the communal uh, toilets. You mean not inside your house? No, not inside the house. Huh? It's shared outside, toilet. So all the unit people mm. must share this common yes, toilet? Yes, yes, Is there bathing facilities there also? Is the bathing facilities also inside the communal toilet? No, bathing is inside the house, oh, inside the flat. But yes. for toilet, yes. you go to the communal toilet. Oh, the WC wow. one is outside. Oh, la. I think many people didn't know this. You mean the WC <laughs> is outside? Yes. So you have to run out if you have some big business to attend to. Yes. <laughs> okay. Basic. Yes, very basic. Very so, basic. Mm. Meant to be practical. Yes. You know, no aesthetic involved. Correct, correct. The home didn't sprawl out, but up. The wood and leaves turned to bricks and mortar. And roaming was centred at something called a playground. Why, why look? Okay, because that is the one where there's this uh, metal frame that is uh, in a group. Oh, shape and like a group. All the children, yes, and all the children are playing there. So you climb inside, yeah? Yeah, that, that's one. If you, anybody who says they born now in Bukit Ho Sui, yeah, they say that they have played in the group playground. Many of the fire victims were roving hawkers. Confined by height, they could no longer trade. A temporary shelter was built for them to congregate, and that perhaps is the genesis of our hawker centre today. In the 60s, selling food was critical. It was the only way for some families to make ends meet. <laughs> <laughs>